Today on Next Steps, we're asking the question, what's the best Bible translation? Hey there, I'm Elliot, one of the ministers at Swiss Cove Christian Church. Welcome to our channel, where our goal is to help you take your next step of faith. We hope you find this helpful. If you do, like and subscribe for more videos like this this one. So what is the best Bible translation? Generally speaking, the best Bible is the one you'll actually read. That being said, there's a pretty broad range of English interpretations. Does this mean they are wrong or bad if they differ slightly in the wording? Of course not. But when it comes to versions of the Bible, you need to understand if you're reading a translation, a transliteration, or a paraphrase. Now, when I say translation, I mean a word-for-word -word literal translation from the original Greek and Hebrew. The most literal English translation as of right now is the New American Standard Bible, or NASB. It can be a little tough to read in spots because its sentence structure doesn't always line up with modern vernacular. This is because it is a word-for-word -word translation. Now, a transliteration is a thought-for-thought -thought translation. That means they'll translate a sentence or a thought and then craft an English sentence that flows nicely and means the same thing. Bibles like the NIV, New International Version, and the NLT, New Living Translation, fall more into this category. They're commonly used because while they are a translation, they are easy to read and easy to understand. Now, a paraphrase is exactly what it sounds like. It's not an actual translation. Instead, it's an attempt to put the Bible into modern day language. The most famous paraphrase version of the Bible is, of course, the message. Now, we don't recommend that you exclusively read a paraphrase, but picking up a copy of the message to see how they interpret God's word certainly isn't wrong. The New International Version is a translation commonly used by churches, and it's the one most commonly used at Swiss Cove Christian Church. Now, in my personal devotional time, I most often use the New Living Translation. Why? Because many times when there are a month and a day mentioned in the text, they'll use our modern months. Now, could I look up the months if I really wanted to? Of course I could, but more often than not, I don't. So, I find that helpful. What's your go-to translation? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. You can catch up with me on social. I'd love to get to know you better. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, take a second and hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Always remember, we love you, we're praying for you, and we're in this together. We'll see you next week.